Hello beautiful buds, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming at you guys in my pajamas because it fits the theme of this video, but also because it's cold and I don't wanna change out of my pajamas, is that bad? So you guys know I love Brandless. It's a company I genuinely believe in. I order from them all the time and I'm actually in their commercial. So if you've seen the commercial, you probably see my face for like two seconds and maybe not realized it. But today I thought I would show you guys all my favorite Brandless products for winter slash like holiday time. And this is a very hefty box. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started. Before I forget, Brandless is doing a thing for the holidays for their affiliates where instead of giving like $6 in credit, I can give $12 in credit. So check the link in my description if you want some Brandless credit. Um, I think I get like $6 too, so it's a win-win and it's that's four items. So that's like 32 packets of hot chocolate. Speaking of hot chocolate, our first item is the Brandless hot chocolate. I'm obsessed with this stuff. Um, you can see I couldn't even wait until I filmed this video to open this one. Um, this one's my favorite, it's the dark chocolate but they also have a caramel one if you're into that. I really like these because they're organic and the cocoa is fair trade and they're a really good value because they're three dollars and it's eight packets and they're so good like this beats the crap out of like the little white and blue packet the swiss miss this is so good also vegan so you can make it with water and have vegan hot chocolate super cool so the next items i picked up from brandless for the holiday season are all for kind of like entertaining um i love to throw a good party around holiday time and it's always good to have like little snacks that you can set out for people so I got these tomato basil hummus crisps, which are really, really good and actually like not that bad for you. I also got some mini shortbread cookies because shortbread and Christmas are like the best combo. And some double chocolate cookie thins because I'm obsessed with chocolate. Um, and if people don't want shortbread that way, they can have chocolate. Then I also got some glazed almonds because I thought these would be really good on like a little like fruit and cheese board. So you could have like the hummus crisps and some cheese and some nuts. They have like a really good selection of nuts in general, so. Excited to try these. I haven't actually tried these ones yet. Also some of these biscotti thins. These are fairly new um, and they're really good. They're not too sweet. So I actually like to have them with my hot chocolate. <laughs> I dip them in the hot chocolate. These are the almond pistachio ones, but I also have the double chocolate ones in my kitchen right now. Then for like soups and various meals, I have a butternut squash soup, a creamy tomato basil soup, and a roasted red pepper soup. And these are cool because they are the perfect size um, for just like a single serving so you don't have to open like a huge thing of soup. They are quite sodium-y though, so make sure you drink lots of water. I mean, that's the same with like any soup, basically. They just put so much salt in it. And um, these are all also gluten-free, which is cool um, because my best friend is gluten-free, um, which I'll get into it in a minute because I have some more gluten-free stuff in here, but it's good to have on hand for when she comes around. Then I also got some vegetable broth. Um, this is good for making soups, making chili. Um, I love that they're in the little like single container so I don't have to worry about opening one and then it going bad because it's so big, which is usually what happens to me. So these are perfect. They're almost like juice boxes of vegetable broth. That sounds really gross, but I promise these are good. Another food staple for me in the winter especially is lentils. Um, I got these green lentils. They're my favorite ones. I put them in chili, I put them in taco meat, I put them in soup. Um, they're really nutritious and have lots of fiber in them. Um, so I pretty much put them in anything I can. Then lastly for like food food, I got the shells and yellow cheddar. Matt and I love macaroni and cheese. They also have a gluten-free version of this, which is really cool. Um, so I think I have that one also in my kitchen. Then speaking of gluten-free again, I got this gluten-free banana bread mix. I just hit myself in the face with it. Again, this is really good for when my best friend stays with us um, because she can't have gluten. It just like doesn't agree with her so we can still bake together because we both love baking. Um, and then I also got two other baking mixes that are not gluten free. I got a lemon and basil scone mix. I'm obsessed with scones. I make scones all the time, all year round, but especially during Christmas. And then I also got this coconut macaroon mix, um, which if you've ever been to Disneyland, the Matterhorn macaroons, I'm like addicted to them. Um, so I'm really excited to hopefully like make that 
at home and I will probably melt some chocolate and dip them in some chocolate. And then lastly, I have just a few like lifestyle-y things. I have this hand soap, which is in the scent Cranberry Spice, which smells so festive. Um, and this just goes in our kitchen. Um, I guess we could put it in the bathroom too, but we have the Mrs. Myers one for in the bathroom. And I think the cranberry scent is especially really nice in the kitchen. And I also got the Cranberry Spice lip balm um, because I love a festive lip balm and uh, Birth Beast hasn't been cutting it for me lately. It's not moisturizing enough. So these ones are really moisturizing. I really like them. Then I also got some tissue paper. And what I really like about this tissue paper is it is recycled, um, which makes me feel a little bit less bad about using it. Not crazy about the plastic packaging, um, but that's another story. And it's 35 pieces and it was three bucks. So pretty good deal. Then very lastly, I got this pack of recipe cards because I have been experimenting with a lot of different recipes lately. I've been making a lot of like chilies and pasta dishes and soups and things that are like really warming for winter. Um, and I kind of just like make them up and don't write them down and then forget how to make them. And Matt is always telling me that I should start like a recipe card box and start writing them down. So I got some cards so that I could do that and kind of save all of the recipes that I come up with um, or any recipes that people share with me over the holiday season. So that is it for all of my favorite picks from Brandless for Winter. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it gave you some ideas from what to get off of Brandless's website. I'll link everything that I talked about down below. And also don't forget in the description there is that coupon link so you can use that to get $12 off of your first purchase of $39 or more I think is what it is. Um, and that's four free items. Oh, and I forgot to mention, some of these items are only $1.50, so like the mac and cheeses and the soups, those are like two for $3, so still a really good deal. I definitely need more recipes to put on my recipe cards, so if you guys have any favorite recipes for the holidays, let me know in the comments down below, because I'd love to check them out and try some of your favorite recipes. As usual, I hope you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!